Hello guys, welcome back to SnowRunner, back in Northport. Yes, this is the Hummer 2. Have brought it down and around. Let me go to the map, so in case you don't quite remember. Um, yeah, we were up here. We did a quest to bring a fuel trailer up to a little place up here. Yeah, I brought it on down through here. Did some radar. There is a road that kind of goes into here, but the radar didn't pick up anything. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Um... And then I made my way all the way out to here. You can see where the radar trailer is. I did radar here and I picked up an upgrade right down here, which is kind of odd because this place was, uh, I don't want to say lit up, but I mean, it wasn't in the shadows or anything. So yeah, I didn't, there's an upgrade there. Also, I did find the other task right over here. The radar trailer picked up, can't go to waste. Um, so there's a task up here we need to do. But yeah, I, I had to detach the Hummer and um because yeah there's no fuel trailer around here you can't buy trailers down here this is a service site but yeah i could not get the hummer 2 to service there which seemed kind of weird um the engine had just a little bit of damage there so i don't know if i can't remember now does it when it services it does it service all everything and does it refuel it as well um but either way i couldn't get it to repair anything or i even had the trailer attached attached couldn't do anything uh, but either way, I, I basically had to recall the Hummer to the garage and drove all the way back down here. And now here I am getting ready to get the upgrade. Um, as you can see, for a task we're doing today, at least one of them, uh, is Mountain Maze. And I don't know if I want to do this, but we're going to try it. I got the P16 that we had with the trailer before. And it kind of concerns me because it says Mountain Maze. So I don't know how rough it is going to get up there. Uh, but I need to bring three articles over. And I already got the P-16 over here. I just refueled it. I got that trailer that we had before when we were doing the log. Uh, the oil pipe? Was it like an oil pipe? We had to bring something to the drill site anyways. Uh, but yeah, it's already set to go. I need to pick up two fuel. And I think I can get wooden plates at the log station as well. And we're going to head over to Mountain River and deliver this hopefully. But it says Mountain Maze. I don't know how narrow of a road or wide it is. That may not be a good idea. But anyways... We want to start with this right down here, which is, um, yes, there's an upgrade right down this hill. Uh, so let's go down and grab it. I say grab it. Uh, okay, I see the vehicle. The vehicle usually means that's where the upgrade is. So I'm just trying to find the best way down there. I mean, if I roll this over, not, I don't want to say a big deal, uh, because we do have the autonomous wench on here, but this is not as steep as it. Okay, well, see, that's what I just said. Uh, yep, that, see, that was all planned. I wanted to do a flip. That was all part of the plan. Hopefully I can back out of here. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, yeah, for scout vehicles, yeah, the Hummer 2 has not been the best yet. But then again, we don't have the upgrades. So, until we get the upgrades, I can't really judge this thing. The Marshall does pretty darn good here in the snow. Uh, I got that one more task to do. I think I'll do that with the marshal. Where we got to go up and inspect the power lines. Well, let's see what we get here. And hopefully this time I don't hit the wrong button. So we can see what it's for. Race suspension available for, for, for current truck. Hallelujah. Um, is, I'm pretty sure it's just for the Hummer 2. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah. Instead of, instead of going all the way back to the garage. And getting the race suspension right away. Just recovering getting it. Um, I do want to bring the prototype radar trailer out to the main road at least and bring it back. So finally the race suspension, which uh, does a couple things, gets the chassis more off the ground for us. I mean, that's the obvious. But also with the race suspension, I can put uh, bigger tires on there. So that will also help us get off the ground a little bit more and hopefully get us, get us better traction. All that good stuff. So uh, let's see. First things first. Um, can I get back out of here? Uh... Yeah, I can see why I rolled over there. At first, it didn't seem that bad. Then it's like, uh, are you kidding me? So the thing is, um, whew, dude, that little tree right there, I don't think it's going to be suffice enough to pull us on up. But I'm seeing another way it can possibly go. So let's see if we can get up here. All right, so this is probably not going to work. Originally, I thought it was going to go up between those two rocks, but as we got closer, I realized, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, I'm not close enough to that tree. Uh, I didn't grab it because, um, yeah, I didn't have the parking brake on, so I kind of just rolled on down the hill. 
Can I just quick attach? Oh, good. It did a quick attach. Uh, okay. I was hoping that tree would be strong enough to do this. And now... And now, and now here I am. Alright, let me go ahead and let's uh, reverse out here. Great way to start the video this week, isn't it? There we go. So about the only tree I had... Um, I kind of blew it already. So this tree probably would help me, but now it's also hindering me as well. Uh, can I... Where's my mouse? Alright, let's hitch the back up to that. Alright, I don't want to use the winch just yet. Let me get it kind of the front end around it. Are you going to like... What are you going to do here? Yeah, see, this is not going to work. Because even if I get past here, I can't go... I may just, uh... Okay, you know what? Alright, I've had enough. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just recover it. Uh, why can't I... Why can't I recover? Why won't you let me recover? Won't let me do any of that. Uh, sometimes... I have to go back to my steering wheel and scroll through and put it right back on the custom settings. And I, you can't go back on the arrow, which I don't know why, but that's that's that. Okay, now can I go to... Yeah, see, then it lets me recover. Now it lets me get over there and do that. Alright, uh, customize. Anyways, let's go in here. Suspension. Uh, damn right I want that. Um, let's get that installed. The stock one. Make sure we sell that for a little bit of cash. Now if we go to tires. So yeah, we go from 35 to 39 inch tires. That's always nice. And make sure we sell those. Sell those. And uh, that's pretty much all we need to do with it. Uh, that is it. So let me go ahead and go back. Back. We should be set to... Wait, I did, I did get the race suspension on there, right? Race suspension, just double check here. All right, yes, yeah, so we're, we're all set. We're all set, I believe, and leave garage. Already that look, you can see how much higher that looks already. So that's not, that's pretty darn good. Uh, so for now, we're going to leave that there. We're going to hop into the Pacific 16. Right at the gas station. All right, so we need um, two fuel. I'm hoping that this trailer back here takes, I don't want to say anything, but... Cargo management, uh, fuel, load, load, escape. I should be able to see it back there. Perfect. Uh, they didn't need that trash can in front of the gas station anyways. Uh, the one thing about the P-16, it is wide. And it turns like trash. Uh, <laughs> but it, I, I think I'll get the job done. Now let's go over across the road. Where's the entryway to the... Can I, can I just go right through here? That sounds like a good plan. Hopefully I don't pop a tire on any of these things. Actually, let me go around this way, because that way I'm facing the way I want to be facing, I think. And yeah, just don't pop a tire, because this is the only vehicle I've popped a tire on so far. Now I'm getting kind of uh, nervous about every time I get near something that could possibly do some damage. So this vehicle, uh, at first, I wasn't sure we are going to be able to, if I was ever going to use it. Now we're using it, oh what, the last three or four episodes that we're going ahead and using it. Also, I don't know if you have heard, so version, uh, or patch 7.0 is on the test server. Uh, I want, what do I need? Wooden planks? Yes, I'll, I'll load that please. There we go. Oh, so this trailer only holds four. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. So, anyways, yeah. Patch uh, version 7.0 is uh, on the test server. Uh, the twin steer is going to get all-wheel drive now as well. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, I just need to see. Where am I going with this now? Uh, Mountain River is there. And we are here. I'm thinking I just go back to the main road. Yeah, I think we just... Nope. Gotta fix my gas pedal. No, why, why are you clicking there? 
I'm over here. Nope. Why are you? Thank you. Uh, that'll be good enough. Uh, we'll click there. And then click there. And then once I'm on the main road, it's not a problem. It's just a long drive all the way around. I'd rather just take the main road to Mountain River. And once we're in Mountain River, I don't know where we're going because I haven't been there yet to see where I, I need to go. But uh, it should be kind of interesting. And it says Mountain Maze. And I got this thing that doesn't turn that well. It is wide and the trailer is not too concerning for me. Um, we just fueled up so we should be okay for a while. And I am going to be passing a gas station on the other side of this map so I can top off again just to be sure. Uh, let me put it in low gear here for now. So finally the race suspension for the Hummer 2 and uh, bigger tires. So it should be interesting interesting to see how that handles from now on. I got to drive back down to get the radar trailer. It was kind of rough getting down there. I kept getting stuck in the mud. I haven't used the winch all the time. I, mean, I don't mind using the winch, but every like three feet. I was like, yep, got to use the winch. Got to use the winch. Actually, I think I want to turn. So I couldn't put the marker where I wanted to. Yeah, so I definitely want to turn here. If this wants to turn. Because it's a P16. Yeah, so the radar trailer definitely coming in handy. Can I get around the pole? Come on, just slide around it. There you go. Once we get to the main road, then no problem whatsoever. It's just a matter of once I get to the other map, what's going to happen. So this uh, this is a contract that we're doing. Doesn't pay that much, and experience isn't that much, but it's a contract that we need to do. Um, but getting back to patch 7.7, .7, there's also going to be some more... Uh, they're adding more... Um, I don't know if it's task or contract to the Michigan map. So yeah, we'll have to head back to Michigan, which is not its not the worst thing in the world. Uh, actually, the way that I just said that sounds kind of terrible. I don't mind going back to Michigan because it's been a while now since it's been on there. It might be kind of a decent idea to kind of get away from Alaska for a bit again for an episode or two. I actually thought about going to starting on Russia a little bit, just trying to get away from the snow and ice a little bit. This P16 just doesn't want to, just doesn't want to turn on the ice. But then again, we cannot, if I remember, we cannot get chain tires for this. So I'm dealing with it. All right, so I want to make my way around this map. It's going to take me about a, about, about maybe four minutes to get around to at least the gas station. We'll top off, get to Mountain River. And then once we're there, we'll see where we're going with this. I'm kind of nervous, like I said, because it says Mountain Maze. And maybe this is not the correct thing. Worst comes to worst, if we look at the road and like, yeah, this P16 may not be able to handle it. Um, we can always just drop off the trailer and get a different vehicle to go ahead and do so. Uh, I mean, the Royal BM might be something that could, because uh, this is just a haul behind trailer. So it's not going to, should be too difficult. But anyways, uh, let's get to the other side of the map. And uh, let's get to the other map that we need to get to. Mountain River. Well, finally made it to the fuel station. If you do this good enough, you can just go ahead and top it off as a drive-through. You get the hang of it after a while. The first few times I saw someone do that, I was like, um... Alright, I didn't know you could do that, and I tried a couple times, and I failed the first two, but now I'm getting the hang of it. But I will say this, uh, yeah, without chains on your tires on an icy road, uh, I had a little problem going uphill with the P-16, especially going through the area where we had unblocked the road a while ago. Where the rocks were and the barricades go across. Yeah, I, I had to use a winch to get up the hill because, well, there was no change on this thing. I was slipping and sliding everywhere. Couldn't get up the hill. Amazing. But anyways, we are headed, hopefully, up the right road. I shouldn't have to look, but uh, yeah, this should bring us up to White Mountain. And then we'll get to see what kind of adventure I have going up this mountain maze. 
going to be able to get up this hill. Then we're going to have to use a winch. But we got the fuel, we got the wooden planks. This is a matter of uh, seeing this road when we get there. We do have all the tunnels open. Alright, Mountain River. Where are we going with this thing? So I'm just trying to picture where I need to go. Um, really? Just to there? Well, that's not difficult at all. That's not difficult at all. That's an easy ride. So he says. Oh, yes, the parking brake. I shouldn't even need nothing but automatic, right? Well, we'll get this delivered easily. Um, kind of made me a little nervous when I said Mountain Maze. I thought I was going to be going up a mountain that had some switchbacks, all that kind of stuff. But this should be relatively simple. This map here um, kind of surprised me. One, it actually has few, two fuel stations um, and a couple trailer stores. And the map, I don't want to say, is not that big. It just doesn't seem that big. But then again, I probably open my big big mouth one more time because I'll, anytime I say, oh, this, this map's not that hard. Next thing you know, I'm doing a task like, oh, that looks simple. And then, uh, then you realize it's not. I wonder if there's a contract to fix this road right here. That's one I don't want to be driving through. I mean, that looks like a contract where you just have to bring like a load of dirt and just cover it up. Definitely don't need any fuel. I'm not going to stop for it. I mean, it never hurts to top it off. Like I said, this map here. Fuel stations and trailer stations everywhere, it seems like. So if I ever need it, just uh, go ahead and stop and get a trailer or top off at a fuel station. But I did notice when I was kind of going through the contracts, I was looking for something on Northport to do. And it seemed like every contract was leaving Northport. So... And I just chose this one because, uh, wait, is it this road here? Yeah, let me go ahead and mark these. I thought, I thought there was two roads that cut down here, and I might be thinking of the wrong map, I guess. No, don't try to drive over the guard rail. Don't need to be popping a tire. Not that I wouldn't be able to finish the contract at this point. But I have been thinking about going to Russia just because it seems like all the better vehicles are out of Russia. But then again, the map is a little bit more difficult. So it's kind of expected you get better vehicles there. And somebody go back to like here in Alaska or to Michigan. Those trucks are going to, and vehicles are going to seem so overpowered. Makes it look kind of simple. And the P16 here, we got this on the last map in Michigan. Like I said, at first I wasn't sure I wanted to use it, then I said, yeah, we got to use it. Let's see how it goes. And really not that bad of a vehicle. So here's a contract I was kind of just wondering about, but uh, yeah, not an issue at all. Mountain maze, not that much of a maze to get to here. But then again, I might get here to may say I need more material. All right, so we'll unload that and that. Perfect. Uh, I mean, 2150 is not bad. Experience is okay. With well, that said and done, uh, let me go ahead on this map here. And what do we have for task here? Curtain side trailer. I think I'm right at it, right? Deliver re to the... Re where, where Where is that? 
So I'll tell you what, we'll swap out one trailer for the other because it's right here. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and do this contract right here. Uh, the fun part is I got to back up an articulated trailer, which, oh man, could always be a challenge. This guy doesn't need his fence, does he? No, it's fine. We'll move that boat a little bit as well. There we go. I think that's where he wanted it, right? Now let's go ahead. This may... I don't know if the trailer's going to go flying or not, is it? No, it's good. Alright, let's grab, go grab this trailer here. It's almost like it worked out like a plan, you know, like come here, deliver this, and grab the other trailer. Alright, now that we got it attached. No, that's the wrong button. Okay. What it wh where am I going with this thing? Alright. <laughs> yeah, so he says. Oh yeah, so this is the one with two rows that do does go down. It's got I didn't went past the first one without even noticing it. Uh so back out the way I came. And yep, for some reason, once while when I click, it doesn't really put the marker where I want it to. And then we'll come up through here. I don't know if I've got to go up this road and it'll get me around to the research center, but that's the kind of path I think we're going to take. So let's, uh, daylight hours are burning. There are a couple of vehicles in the game. I do know that the only way you can get them is by buying them. So it's not like the P16 where we just found it and we got to keep it. So I think the, like the Pacific 12, I don't think we can uh, find that in the world other than buying it. All right. You want to get stuck here and that winch uh, is not going to work there. What is in this trailer that's making it so darn heavy? Eh, maybe I don't want to know. And it's actually been a while. I don't know if I got all the upgrades on the P-16 or not. I think there were a lot of things that, that were just stock and that's it. Are right, you going to be able to make this turn and get up the icy road? Well, the turn was no problem. Alright, another thing that just came to mind on patch 7.0, the, uh, the second map to the fourth region should be on there as well. I think they're actually kind of calling it like part two of phase one. Oh, it's getting confusing with these updates. So there's the marker that um, yeah, I put over there. I know I want to turn here. Going down. Oh, I haven't fixed this yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Brakes. Uh, not that I can do much about it now. It'll probably just keep sliding down the hill. Um, can I get around that is the question. And how deep is that river? I don't think I can get through that area with this P-16 in the trailer. Oh, I may regret doing this, but um, we're going to have some fun trying, right? We're going to cross the river. I don't know how... How deep the river is here. It's not looking bad at all, honestly, so I don't think it's much of an issue. 
Yep, there's the road right there. Let me just find... Actually, there's a marker, uh, a flag here. Interesting. Ouch. Are you kidding me? I think I just blew out a tire, and I did. I'll tell you, this P-16, these tires cannot take anything. So that's going to make it, you know, it's hard to steer as it is. Now it's going to be a little bit harder now. Wait, uh... It's actually, let me just put the marker there. How far is it? Where am I? At? There's not even a building here. Alright, so this may take like a 20 point turnaround here. Actually, with the sun set, you know what this might be good for? Is a screenshot, and this will take me just a moment. Alright, so back to what we were doing here. Got to find a way through these narrow trees. It also gets rid of the trailer, which is good. So now I can go back to like a trailer store or repair center and fix that flat tire if I need to, which I kind of do. Deliver to the warehouse three bricks. Um. Oh, that, yeah, okay. I'm going to kind of need a crane for that. Uh, okay, that's the, okay. That's something I don't want to do here. Oh, uh, let me see if there's something a little bit easier here. Well, I have found a job to do. So the first thing I did was I took the P-16 to the service center and um, got it fully repaired so I don't have a flat tire. And half my suspension was... Uh, well, it was wrecked pretty much. Uh, not that bad, though, but it does help to get it back fully repaired. Then, of course, I went past the fuel station, so we topped her off with some fuel. Coming back out here, remember that trailer? I backed up through the guy's fence and uh, left it here. Well, I need the trailer now because I need to go to get... I need to, yeah, I need oil barrels. Uh, four of them, okay, which is good because this trailer should be able to take all four. Um, but I need to go to another map to get the oil barrels and bring them back actually to this map here. So we're actually going to, uh, where am I going? Uh, White Valley. That's where I'm going to. Uh, the question is, how do I want to get to White Valley? Well, I think, uh, yeah, that way. Because I cannot, I cannot go through here yet because I haven't fixed this problem. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a job, a task, or a contract, or maybe neither. I think it's going to be actually probably a contract. But either way, it's going to be a little bit of a journey around here. And I've got to turn this thing kind of around here. Which is not going to be too difficult. I may jack up the trailer a little bit in doing so. But yep, we need to head to the other map. Where I need to go to get the oil barrels, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, but we're going to find out once we get there. Well, on the way through the map, I first went to Northport because I was closest one. And I said, I think that's going to bring me right back to where, um, right to the middle of the map on Northport. And that's kind of a, kind of a drive. I said, well, let's come to this map here. Uh, White Valley, I think is where we're at right now. Yeah, this drive is going to be much easier for us to go down to the drilling site and grab our four oil barrels, or at least our, not four oil barrels in total, but four uh, cargoes of oil barrels. So we'll zip on through here in no time, and then go back and make that delivery. So yeah, it's going to be kind of an easy delivery for us, for darn sure. So I'll be happy about that. But uh, overall, it's not going to be a, a bad uh, episode in a way. We got the raised suspension for the Hummer 2. And the better tires, so that's to be kind of interesting. Uh, and I found another task to do to Northport. Uh, and we knocked out, well, this will be the second contract we're knocking out today. And we also got a task done on Mountain River, which we'll be going back to here in a second with this contract. But I figured a little nighttime driving never hurts anyone. And since we're not going to be on the major rough roads here, we'll just leave it at nighttime with the headlights on and go, go get these oil barrels. 
this trailer should be able to hold all four. And that's it. Uh, that's all it can do is hold four. Just take a little bit of a side road here, but really should not be a major issue at all. Take down that road sign. No one needs it but me. And I don't. It probably just says oil factory. I don't. Uh, or drilling site. Although it is a little bit thick of mud in here, but not too bad. Of course, it's hard to see how much mud is actually I'm buried into because it is nighttime. And we're just about at the drilling site. It'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy once we get done. Yeah, so so far I like the P16 other than the uh, turning radius in this thing is... I mean, it, it, once you get used to it, it's not, it doesn't seem bad, but um, yeah, it can be. Uh, so no, I don't want fuel. We want oil barrels. Alright, we got the four oil barrels. Now just gotta get myself back out of here, back on the main road. And another delivery done. Question is, can I get it done before daybreak? I have no idea because I don't know what time it is right now unless I go to the map. Uh, hopefully I can make this circle through here. I don't want to have to back up with this trailer. Pretty simple. Yeah, the other gearbox, the off-road gearbox would not be a bad thing to have on this thing. If I just put it in high gear going through here, it'll be fine. Yeah, so don't be surprised pretty soon if, uh, I don't want to say we ditch Alaska for a few episodes and head on over to Russia and start doing some things over there. The automatic is the way to go once you're on asphalt. Uh, don't want to miss my turn. I think this is my turn here, yep. I don't need gas, but uh, that's the way we're going. I'm surprised they say gas and not diesel. Let me put it back in high so I can uh, hopefully get through this little bit of mud here. Because there are some pretty darn good scout vehicles in Russia. But, you know, I have to give the H2 its due. I have to use it some more. Now I'm back on asphalt. Let's go ahead and put it back in automatic. Get ourselves back to Mountain River. Deliver these oil barrels, I think, to the gas station is where I got to go with them. So, yeah, like I said, just got to drive around the map. There were a couple other quests I was looking at, and I was like, ooh, that may take me more than... I was looking for something that may take me like 10, 15 minutes. There was one I was thinking about doing. I'm like, nah, it's going to take me more than 10, 15 minutes for darn sure, so... Uh, we found this one. I'm like, hmm, not too bad. So here we are. Yeah, I don't know if you guys like seeing the nighttime driving. I mean, it's, like I said, it's not bad. Um, in the videos, uh, after I get done rendering it and uploading it to YouTube, it doesn't look that bad. But you can't see the far distance. It's not like I'm ever really trying to show you the scenery of the map itself. Pretty soon we'll be doing the bigger contracts, I'm sure, once we get near the end of them. And there'll be some big deliveries coming up, I'm sure. But that radar trailer is definitely going to help us out find all the upgrades. I'm surprised that upgrade we got for the raised suspension for the Hummer 2 uh, did not show up when we did the watchtower or when I drove through there. I was surprised I wasn't close enough to trigger that. Uh, 
All right, so I'll see you in what? No, we're in White River. Uh, no, we're in White Valley. Mountain River. I, I can't get these uh, these map names correct. Well, should be able to finish this uh, contract before the sun rises, which is good. I don't know why, but just that's my goal, anyways. <laughs> as long as I don't slide off the road somewhere, we're all set. Like I said, it should be a pretty easy, simple delivery here. And I don't know why, uh, when I was uh, getting up to the gateway to come back here, I was thinking, haven't I already delivered like oil barrels to this gas station? Actually, we're going to the service hub with these, so yeah. Don't remember if I did a delivery of this already or not. Either way, they want more, so yeah, we'll we'll bring it to them. Yeah, some chains on these tires would not be bad for the amount of times I've been on the asphalt today, but. It's okay, we're all there. We're almost there. Yeah, on steep hills with this trailer, yeah, a couple times I had to use the winch to get up the, the hill because it just didn't have the traction. But once I had four, forward momentum going, it was like okay, but it's when I was going up the hill, and of course being an automatic when it downshifted, uh, that's when my momentum would stop and all of a sudden the tires would just spin, and I would go nowhere. But now we're somewhere because now we're going to get this delivered. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. Oh, now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I came here to, uh, this is the exact spot where you can come and service your vehicle when you pull into it, fix your vehicle. It does not refuel it, which is, for here, it's fine because, you know, we got a gas station right on down the road. I'm going to try to turn this thing around in here because, you know, eventually I'm going to have to drive this on out. I haven't discovered that trailer. The amount of times I've driven past it, I haven't discovered it. All right. Yeah, now I get this thing turned around. Uh, that trailer looks like it's got some issues. There we go. All right, let's put the parking brake on engine off to save on the diesel fuel and wrap it up so yeah next episode i don't know Sh should we go to I almost said alaska we're in alaska should we go to russia just to get away from the snow for a bit then come back um we might i don't know uh but that if i go to russia i gotta bring some vehicles along with so that means all the vehicles i've scattered out through alaska i have to recall a couple of them to the garage and get over to alaska or buy some vehicles but uh i don't think we're really money wise at $143,000 is not that much so yeah um that's not that's not a lot that's not a lot I can buy probably buy like a vehicle I mean a really good vehicle one good vehicle, vehicle and that's about it so yeah we'll have to see I mean I, I we could take the H2 there because now we got the race suspension for it at least um we got that going for us but uh I'll have to think about it uh, but leave your comments below if you would like to see us go to Russia and just get away from the snow for a bit. Or do you want me to continue on Alaska and just do like like we did Michigan. Just keep on rolling through uh, region by region, map by map. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.